Do you have arthritis in your knees and you're looking for a safe exercise routine? Keep watching and I will show you how to warm up your knees, improve your mobility and increase your strength so you have less knee pain and you move better. Hi everyone, my name is Eva Venes of PainFreeForLifePilaris.com located in San Diego, California. Welcome back to my channel. Um, where I share weekly content on how to eliminate chronic pain in the body without the use of drugs and surgeries and how to improve your strength, flexibility and mobility. In this video, I'm going to take you through a series of exercises that I always use with my clients who have knee arthritis and these exercises help them tremendously. They feel and move better, it's easier for them to walk, to take the stairs, to sit down, to get up. So I hope you're excited and let's get started. First, I'm just going to use a rolled up towel that I will place just above the back of my knee. Um, that will put a little bit of flexion in my knee. And here I'm going to activate my quadriceps, the front of my thigh, and I raise my heel up and away from my mat. Mm, you can lower your heel down and let that slight flexion take place in the knee and then start activating and squeezing your quadriceps and raise your heel up from your yoga mat. Uh, additionally, curl your toes towards your shin, try to elongate your calf muscles. Mm, you can lower that leg again, lower that heel again. Let's do a couple more repetitions. Raise your heel. Flex your foot, tighten and engage your quadriceps, and back down, and one more time. At home, feel free to do more repetitions, do at least 10, and of course do it on both sides. Um, next exercise will be um, one that will strengthen your hips. When it comes to arthritic knees, guys, it's really important to target the hips because your hips are the ones controlling the movement of the knees. So having strong hips will result in, in more functional, better knees. So as you lay on your stomach, just curl your toes forward first. And then again, to activate the quadriceps, raise your knee a little bit from the table, from your yoga mat. And then engage your butt muscles, your glute muscles, and raise that leg a few inches up from your yoga mat. And let's go on the other side now. So just curl the, the other toes, other foot forward. And then raise your knee from your mat. Then activate your hip muscles and raise your leg up from your mat. And we'll go back to the first side. Mm, so first we are curling the toes forward. At this point, the knee is still touching the mat. Then we'll activate our thigh muscles and we raise that knee from the mat. And on top of that, we raise the leg up from the mat. Let's repeat that on the other side. Left toes are curling forward, left quadriceps engages, so the knee lifts up from the mat. And then the hip muscles engage and they raise that leg all the way up in the air. Okay, let's go for one more time. So the toes are curling under. And the knee lifts up as the quadriceps engages. And the glute muscles are raising the leg. And the left toes are curling forward. The left knee raises from the mat. And then the hip muscles are elevating that whole leg up and away from the mat. Okay, next thing is going to be a bridge. So you just want to lay down on your back. This is basically the same thing as doing squats or getting given out of your car, sitting down in a chair, standing up from a chair. So the legs are bent, the hips are flexed, and you're just going to raise your hips up from the mat squeezing your buttocks, squeezing the hamstring muscles and go back down, uh, raise the hips again. You're probably feeling a nice elongation in the front of your thighs too. That's because your hip flexors and your quadriceps are stretching. 
mm, let's do this a couple more times. At home, do 10 repetitions of everything that we are doing here today. And one last time. Mm, wonderful. Okay. Um, next, we're going to lay down on our side. And my bottom leg will be straight. My top leg will be bent. And I'm just going to slide my top heel down towards the other one and I'll squeeze my legs together. I make my quadriceps stand out. I engage my inner thighs. Then I bring that heel up and then let's slide it down again, squeezing the legs tightly together. Okay, let's bend the knee. Make sure guys that your hips are nice and stacked here. Okay, but you don't want is that hip dropping back. So just nice on your side, uh, straighten that leg, uh, squeeze the legs together, make your quadriceps stand out. Let's do one more repetition. Straighten and squeeze. Okay, and of course you want to repeat this on the other side too. Oh, and I have one more thing for you. Um, now you can bend your top leg, bring the bottom leg forward a little bit and flex your foot. And using the strength in the inner thigh muscles, raise your leg a little bit up and away from your mat. Um, some of your inner thigh muscles stop and don't cross over your knee joint, but there is one that goes all the way down, just below the knee joint. So uh, it's really important to do these exercises because these muscles have a lot to do with how strong your knees are and how well they are moving. And let's do one more thing. We're gonna stack the knees now. Both of the knees are bent, hips are stacked, really important. And just to raise that knee up as high as you can without dropping back your hip. This will build strength in your lateral hip those muscles are running down on your outer thigh and they insert on the outside of the knee and they provide stability to the knee. So very important muscles to strengthen. Uh, let's do a couple more. As I said, at home do at least 10 of these and you can do them multiple times a day as well. And I hope you're feeling better and you're excited because you were able to do a routine where your knees did not limit you. Because oftentimes that's the problem that you find an exercise routine somewhere on YouTube or anywhere on the internet. And they were just not really made for people like you because they are too advanced or they require movement that you're unable to perform. So I hope you're excited that you were able to do all of these moves today. Keep working on them and get better, get stronger. Um, if you would like a complete protocol of how to strengthen your body um, and how not to strain your muscles, uh, visit my website, go to www.painfreeforlifepilaris.com and click on the shop tab. I have a number of on-demand home programs, so just choose the one that um, you would um, like to um, work on first. Um, also, if you need more personalized guidance and you would like to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, either here in my studio or online over Zoom, um, set up a free 15-minute phone consultation so we can get things started. For more great video tips on how to eliminate chronic pain in the body without the use of drugs and surgeries, how to improve your strength, flexibility and mobility, check out my playlists on my YouTube channel.